I gave Renfield a strong opiate tonight, enough to make him, even him sleep, and took away his pocketbook to look at it. The thought that has been buzzing about my brain lately is complete and the theory proved. My homicidal maniac is of a peculiar kind. I shall have to invent a new classification for him and call him a zoophagous, life-eating maniac. What he desires is to absorb as many lives as he can, and he has laid himself out to achieve it in a cumul cumulative way. He gave many flies to one spider and many spiders to one bird, and then wanted a cat to eat the many birds. What would have been his later steps? It would almost be worthwhile to com com complete the experiment. It might be done if there were only a sufficient cause. Men sneered at vivisection, and yet look at its results today. Why not advance science in its most difficult and vital aspect, the knowledge of the brain? Had I even the secret of one such mind? Did I hold the key to the fancy of even one lunatic? I might advance my own branch of science to a pitch compared with which Burden Sanderson's physiology or Ferrier's brain knowledge would be as nothing. If only there were a sufficient cause, I must not think too much of this, or I may be tempted. A good cause might turn the scale with me, for may not I too be of an exceptional brain congenitally? How well the man reasoned, lunatics always do within their own scope. I wonder at how many lives he values a man, or if at only one. He has closed the account most accurately, and today begun a new record. How many of us begin a new record with each day of our lives? To me it seems only yesterday that my whole life ended with my new hope, and that truly I began a new record. So it will be until the great recorder sums me up and closes my ledger account with a balance to profit or loss. Oh, Lucy, Lucy, I cannot be angry with you, nor can I be angry with my friend whose happiness is yours. But I must only wait on hopeless and work. Work, work. If only... If I only could have as strong a cause as my poor mad friend there, a good unselfish cause to make me work, that would be indeed happiness.